Hey everyone and welcome to another All About RVs video. Today we're going to take a look at a brand new 2020 and a half Forest River Alpha Wolf 23RD travel trailer. We're going to take a few minutes walk you through the inside and then the outside of this new camper. All right guys we're now up inside the Alpha Wolf 23RD trailer and as you've seen from the floor plan that was just up on your screen there this is a rear living room travel trailer so you have the sofa across the back little end tables on each side the one on the left there does have some storage built into it overhead cabinets up above the sofa the sofa does fold out into a full-size bed. It's a tri-fold sofa, so you could sleep a couple people here if you have some guests with you. Plenty of floor space here to kind of maneuver around as you come in and out of the coach. Your control center up top there has your slide-out button, awning button, some light switches, monitor panels, all that stuff right here. Little switch here flips from the fireplace to the microwave for power. This one was also ordered with the solar package and you have a little uh, voltage meter there kind of telling you your battery conditions and everything. A little freestanding dinette with four chairs. Chairs do have a little storage built into the seats of them there. Again, electric fireplace right there, which is basically an electric space heater. A little radio up above that and some more USB charger ports and an electric outlet down there. And you also have your TV spot right there. You probably fit around a 40-inch TV there roughly, maybe a little bigger. Um, but that is where you would mount your TV. Now that TV mount actually matches the mount that's on the outside. You'll see when we get out there. So you could slide this TV off and flip it right on around to the outside if you wanted to watch some TV outside under the awning. Couple drawers down there, full extending ball bearing drawer guides. You have new countertops for the model change here. A little different faucet than what was previously in the unit. Eight cubic foot gas and electric Dometic refrigerator is what's currently being used in this. And you have the gray stone uh, stove there, which is a glass front. Has a light built in, little lighted knobs. Flip up uh, glass stove top cover. Also acts as a backsplash when you're cooking there. Below the refrigerator is your electric breakers and fuses, along with a propane leak detector. Over here on the left side, behind the fireplace and TV area, you have a massive storage compartment right here. Plenty of room here. Great pantry area. I would probably get one of those uh, like plastic tubs or something and kind of put down here low for your pots and pans area. That's the one thing I did notice that's a little lacking, but with all this storage that is in this section, you could definitely do a nice pots and pans like little tub there. Air conditioning system is ducted. Heat is also ducted through the cabinet sections. At the little farm sink, little storage below that, matching little sink cover. They went to a little bit of a darker stainless look to it, so that changed up a little bit. Another thing I really liked on the new change was the blinds. You can see how you can kind of see through the blind a little bit there in the video. But when you pull the blind down a little bit, the black actually kind of overlaps and shuts it off. So that's a pretty cool new little blind. Spinning back around here real quick, we are headed to the bathroom area. You have a corner shower here, glass uh, enclosure there, skylight up above, 
air conditioning and heat also in the bathroom. Also have one of those big fantastic fans up in here. Painted back down here, you can see your medicine cabinet and sink. Some more storage down below. Now behind this little section here, you got plenty of room for towels and washcloths and all that type of stuff right here. And you walk through the bathroom into the bedroom area. There's electric outlets and USB ports on both sides of the bed. Overhead cabinets, hanging closet on both sides of the bed. And you also have a little shelf area on each side of the bed there. So you could set your drink or glasses or CPAP machines, whatever you need to move. The bed does raise up, so there is some storage underneath the bed. You have a window on both sides of the bed also. And there's also TV hookups up there. If you wanted to mount a small flat screen TV in this section, you could. The door for the bedroom privacy is a sliding door. Just slides right on across. Spin around here so you can see the other side. Don't forget, guys, to like, share, and subscribe if you are interested in keeping up with more of my videos on these new models as they come in and out. On the bedroom, they use a pull-down pleated shade, so that part is a little different in the bedroom. Now we're going to head back to the outside section here, show you some cool features on the outside from the uh, solar system on the roof of this one, along with the uh, power stabilizer jacks, outdoor kitchen, all those type of features. So check it out. All right, guys, we're now back on the outside again, so we're going to run around the outside here real quick. Show you some cool features here. A uh, nice three-quarter fiberglass front cap. Has some LED lights that you can see there with a switch to turn those on and off. Lower section is a diamond plate system there. Battery up here in the front. Two 20-pound propane tanks with the auto changeover regulator. Power tongue jack also has a little light built into it. Your traditional seven-way Bargman plug, two and five sixteenths hitch ball, safety chains, all that stuff is pretty normal right there. You have a little bit thicker baggage doors with the nicer slam locks to them. There is solar prep on the side. If you wanted to do a portable solar panel, you still can. Little pet leash thing there. The power stabilizer option there. Nice, big, clean storage compartment area here. You can see the LED light across there just to kind of help you at nighttime. Another nice feature is a little switch system right here for that light. Also, you can see the solar charger control thing right there, part of the solar panel. And battery disconnect over there. It's nice to have that battery disconnect for when you're putting it away in storage. You can just flip it off and kill a lot of the features to the camper so you're not running your battery down. Power awning here has the adjustable arms for tilting for water runoff and things like that. You have two outdoor speakers. You can see them there. They're lit up blue. You can also turn that off. Uh, but you do have the little uh, blue light on the awning strip along with the blue speaker lights. Aluminum rims. TV area for the outside right there. Your refrigerator panel for maintenance along with your stove exhaust out up there. Little outdoor kitchen section here. So you got a two burner gas stove, little refrigerator, little dump sink system here. And you also have a little portable ice maker right there. The upgraded more ride step. I say upgraded. A lot of people consider this an upgrade. Uh, it is standard on the coach. However, it is a little bit stronger, heavier duty. Doesn't shake the camper around as bad when you're running in and out of the coach. Folding entry handle right there. The power rear stabilizer jack section here. 
You'll find your model number and RVI seal sticker right here, manufacturer information. And also they are sponsoring the KOACareCamp.org. Check that out, guys. That helps uh, kids with cancer, things like that, um, that they're also sponsoring. Get out and camp. So that is a really nice organization to check on. Four inch square tube bumper. Has a little flip down rack. Also pre-wired four backup camera that you can see up there. I would definitely recommend the observation camera if you wanted to do that. I'm gonna climb up here real quick. Wanted to just kind of show you the little solar panel here. It's a 50 watt solar panel that they put on the roof as the option. Just to kind of help keep the battery charged up. Just kind of give you a quick look at what that all looks like up there. And that is where your backup camera would go if you wanted to do the backup camera. Unit comes standard with an enclosed underbelly, which does help you in the late fall camping season or early spring. Slide out is electric. The slide out is also prepped for the slide out awning topper they prep them up here you can see the little bracket thing up there so if that does interest you talk with your salesperson about that also detachable power cord right there going around over here to this side you can see some of your dump area and everything here got your dump pulling out right there gray and black tank you also have an outside utility shower, hot and cold water. Little docking area here for your cable, satellite hookups, black tank flush, city water fill. Uh, again, this is in for service, so they actually have a little pressure meter thing on it right now. Doing a little air check on it. And that right there is your six gallon gas and electric water heater. I'll stand back here a little bit, let you look down the side a little better. The baggage doors are also held up by little magnetic holders instead of plastic clips, which is a nice little touch. Here on the side, you will find more information about the RV. For example, this one's produced on 1015 of 2019. This is after the mid year model change started. Unit has a gross vehicle weight, which is axle weight and hitch weight combined, of 7,682 pounds. Has two 3,500-pound axles, so you can put 7,000 pounds of weight on the axles, and then you have the other 682 or more weight, uh, depending on how you load it out, uh, on the hitch part. Tires are ST205 75 R15 D range tires. 65 psi the unit right now the way it sat came in at a dry weight of 5658 pounds again guys don't forget to like share and subscribe if you're interested in keeping up with more of these videos toll free number two couches rv nation store 888-417-8299 Check them out, guys. CouchesRVNation.com.